2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Hey, Shalom Israel, we'll sign Christ best. We have Brother Olta. Brother Olta, uh, we saw that you was here enjoying the teaching of IUIC here in the, in the South Bronx. Uh, brother, what have you learned today so far in this teaching on the Sabbath day? Well, I'm 62 years old, and for 62 years, I was basically following the Christian teaching of the Bible. And for the past six months, by sometimes coming down here and listening to you brothers, following y'all on YouTube, that I got all things, I got things wrong. So basically, it's about me repenting and following the word of, of the Heavenly Father. So following the word, I ain't gonna lie, Esau. But that's what I grew up. My parents were from the South, and that's what they did. And I followed them, and I realized, hey, I'm not doing the wrong thing. Oh, oh praise it. So you now know you're Israelite. Yes. Okay. Oh, praise the Most High. So what's the next steps you're gonna do uh, as an Israelite man in repentance? Well, my next step is um, the next Sabbath, I'm going to your school. Just start the um, beginner classes that they told me about. And um, when, I, when I read the Bible in the past, I really got lost. I thought I was saying one thing, I find out saying it's totally something different. So, you know, I'm not going to say I feel, I feel like I'm being mis misled. And I just want to find the truth and follow the truth. Go crazy, go crazy. Go down there. I know I'm a sinner. I've done a lot of things in the past, even to the present. I know if I repent and change, I'm not going to have any hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, as a as a repentant Israelite man that you are, uh, what message you want to give to other young black men, young Hispanic men, young Israelite men here lost in America? What message do you have for them today? Well, I think that uh, you only go to find the truth. I realize who you are. You're an Israelite. Stop following mother, no offense to them, mother crazy religion, uh, Christianity, Islam. It's wrong, man. It's gonna lead you to it's gonna lead you to a bad place. So, so you know, I think uh, you, you gotta follow the truth. Okay, okay. So, brother, today, as you was uh, listening to the teaching of IUIC here in the South Bronx, did we come across as hateful or did you sense any spirit of hatred? Because usually our people might say we're a hate group, a hate cult. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Like I said, I'm 62. Brothers just, I used to see brothers 20, 30 years ago be out here. And at that time, my mindset didn't want to hear the truth. So I perceived things as being hateful, not as being accurate in the truth. But now since I'm a little older, I find out that all the, all the brothers doing is talking the truth. Talking about the Bible, talking about the Heavenly Father and, 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 and the Messiah. So for me, that's what it's about. I gotta put my, um, let's say my, um, what's the word? Come on, personal opinions aside, and, and just seek the truth. The truth is not easy sometimes to hear. Yes, sir. But you know, so that's it for me. All right, all right, brother. So thank you so much for this interview. Now, thank, uh, thank you, brother. You. All right, okay. thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Nope. Read again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that talk about, sister? Say it again. Jeez, Jeez, pants. Thank you, sister. Pants. A woman must not wear that pertain to a man. When women so wear pants. What year? Oh, uh, you know that, right? Now you know that, right? During the sixties. You understand that? When World War II was in was in effect, the men, all the men went to war. Now the factories was empty. The women had to work the factory. Now the like dresses and sweat was getting caught in the machineries. And then they we 
start to wear pants because they were complaining that they, they dresses and skirt was getting caught in the machineries and the conveyor belt. So because of that, they start wearing pants. Now, let's read that again. You know, because you say you believe in the whole Bible. Let's see if you're gonna agree with that. Read it again. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Do you understand that system? So what are you gonna do? Because you say you believe in the Bible. You know, believe is an action verb, right? I can hear you. Absolutely, sis. Hey, guess what? I was a homemonger. Yes, sis, sis, a can I say something? I used to be, oh, I used to be a homemonger. Hold on, sister. Sister, hold on, sister. I used to be a homemonger. I have a wife now. I have one wife. One wife, yes. I have one wife, and I take great care of my wife. You are not like David, right? See, he repented. Now, let's focus on you now. After what me, I focus on me. I repent, right? Right? I used to be a homemonger. I repent. I used to do all type of foolishness. I also repent of this foolishness, correct? So must you also repent? Because you own it. You have pens. You must repent. Very good. Give the sister a round of applause. Clap for the sister, because she's the sister says so she's gonna repent. Well willing, sister, I see you again. I better not see you in pens. Give me Psalms 119, verse 59 and 60. Because you said that you are going to repent. Sister, it, it, it is said most of the time or sometime, the woman must not. Must not. You know what must not mean? You should never wear pants because it was never pretend to you. Very good, very good. Read that. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 59. Now I'm back, sister. I'm mocking you. The Bible's mocking you. Now read it. Listen to listen clearly. Listen. I thought on my way. That's what you just did. You thought in your way. Because your way right now is to wear pants. You feel comfortable in that. You thought it was meaning what? You bethink yourself. Come on. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. And you turning your feet from wearing pants. Now you're not gonna wear pants any longer. You're gonna wear skirt now, correct? Not no short skirt, sis, but skirt from the uh, to the bottom of your knee, correct? Come on. I made haste. You do what? I made haste. What does that mean, sister? I made haste. I mean rapidly, fast. Boom, boom, boom. You hear it now? Soon you get home, you get rid of your pants, you start wearing skirt. That's making haste. Meaning you do it right away. Come on. I made haste. And delay not to keep thy commandment. And you delay not, meaning you not, you not, no, you, you put no hesitation in your mind to keep the commandment, meaning to get rid of pens. Now, another question to your sister. I just wanted to prove that, all right? Now let's find out who this guy is. Can you lift it up? The King of Kings. We not saying this is Jesus the Christ, but this is a depiction, depiction according to the word of the Heavenly Father, according to the to the Bible. How you say you believe in? Let's see what the Bible says. Come on. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does the word revelation mean? Revelation is something that about what would happen? Exactly. Why something you can see, correct? Exactly. If I said Exactly. If I say I have a dad on my pants, if I don't lift this up, you won't see it. But when I lift this up, you can see the dad on my pants. I reveal the dad that's on my pants, correct? That means now you can see it. Let's see what the Bible says with that again. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. To what? To show unto his servant. To what? To show unto his servant. How does he show him? Verse 11, please. Verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, when you, what, whatever you see, appearance, the revealed, whatever you see that we built to you, we write in a book. What is the book we're reading in? The Bible. That's the book that you believe in. It says whatever you see, put it in a book. Come on, what did John put in the book? Verse 14, please. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What is the Bible say? Can somebody help me lift this up, please? Let's do, let's do, let's compare. Let, let's do a, 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 a second grade compare contrast, right? Let's compare the two to find out if the society telling the truth, do Christianity is telling the truth, or do the Bible is telling the truth. There's the difference. Okay? You're gonna give me Acts uh, 15 which says I'd rather follow God than you. Oh five. Acts 530. His head and his hair were white like wool. Say that once, once again. His head and his hair were white like wool. The Bible said the Christ's hair and the Christ's head, meaning the hair in his head, and the hair on his face, beard, were what? 
right? Like war. Now let's do the comparison. Let's compare. This is the Christ that gave us, right? Is his beard and his hair is white? Is it white? Is it? Is that white? Is that white hair? Is that white? That's white hair? That's white. The hair on this guy here is white. The color. Look white. at the stripe. Look at the stripe in your brother's shirt. The shrub by the three. The paper in your hand is white. It's black and white. That's white? Sister, is that white? That's not white. Exactly correct. That is not white. Is this white? Remember, it's not Christ. It is a depiction of Christ. According to the Bible. When I say this is Christ, that's how we know we saw him walk the earth. That's not what we're saying. It's a depiction of Christ according to the word, right? Come on. His head and his hair were white like wool. First strike. This bastard here does not have white hair, nor does he have woolly hair. Is that wool to you? Look at this brother's hair. Look at our hair. Hispanic, black, and Native Americans, we have woolly hair. This is not woolly hair. This is horse hair. This is straight hair. Come on. We're white like wool, as white as snow. As white as snow. When snow falls from the sky, what color does it fall? White. Christ had white, woolly hair. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes what? As a flame of fire. Now, if you see the white eyes of this very picture, the picture of Christ, versus this eyes, they give Christ to be blue eye or green eye. No, the Bible said what now? As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why does it say his eyes were as a flame of fire, sister? The reason why it says that because Christ drank wine in moderation. Now, was that already prophesied? Was that already prophesied in the Bible? Give me Genesis 49 verse 12, please. Let's see if the Bible is the truth because you say you believe in the whole Bible. We're doing a, we're comparing to see who Christ really looked like. Oh, we're gonna get to that too, sister. No problem, sister. Sister, we do with we're gonna, that's okay, sister. So come on, sis. Oh, we're gonna show you, sis. sis. When Christ is black, we're gonna show you. Sister, we're gonna show you. We're gonna, we're gonna show you. Let me ask you a question. Do you have children? Do you have children? I understand. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? No problem. I agree with you. Can I ask you a question? Do you have children? Do you take the pictures? Yes or no, sister? Yes or no? Do, do you take, sister? I ask you a very simple question. Do you take. Sister, that's not what I'm talking about. Do you take the picture? Do you have any picture in the wall of your house? Oh, that's you. Ah, uh, give me, give me first, give me first my, give me first uh, what I want, first, first uh, my oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna show you something, I'm gonna show you something. Watch, I'm gonna show you something. I am, since I agree with you, I agree. Remember, we agree. I agree with you. Let's see what the Bible says. Come on, give me that. First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. They laid open the book of the law. The Maccabees were Levi. This is the one the time of the Greek when they were in captivity. Read again. And laid open the book of the law. They laid open the book of the law. The Bible. Read. Wherein the heathen. Where who? The heathen. The other nations. And sought to paint the likeness of their images. This is a prophecy. They sought to paint the likeness of our images. I'm going to show you that, sister. Have you ever heard of the Bajir? Bajir. It's right here, sister. Caesar Bajir was the son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. They hired this guy to paint the likeness of Christ in the Bible, but put it to look like him. So, sister, picture matter. Images matter. How would you know? Let me ask you a question. If you, I'm not gonna take that analysis so you won't get offended. If I lose a son, I'm with the son in South Bucks, correct? We shopping, all right? And the son somehow be away. I lost my son. I lose my son in the, in the midst of all the people. When the cop, when I call the police to report my son being lost, what is the first question they're gonna ask me? Ah, very good. How does the son look like? So, sister, image matter. Image matter. Anything that is in the sky, 
Okay, let me ask a question. Do, do you run me 419? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Do you run me 419? Yeah? Do you want me 419? Do you want me 419? About worship it is about worship. Come on, come on, sis. Come on. What we're not supposed to do is not to worship the image. We're not worshiping the image. We're showing the lie that we've been living for over 400 years. Right! That's what we're showing, sister. Hold on. No, don't go nowhere, sis. See, now you, you're getting cut, sister. We've been agreeing all day. We've been agreeing all day long, sister. You can't leave now. You're my sister. You can't leave me alone. Let's say the word of God together. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 19. This is what you correct on, because I agree with you. This is what we correct on. Come on. And unless thou lift up thine eyes unto the heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them. Which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. See that? We're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to worship. We don't worship that. We're showing our people that Christ was never a white man. Give me Daniel, si give me Daniel 10. Sister, sister. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sis, no, we're not preaching color. Sister, look at this guy. Look, look at this. Look at my brother right here. He's the same complexion as you. We're not teaching color, sister. Sister, we're not teaching color. We have a lot. We have a lot of so-called Dominican, so-called Puerto Rican, so-called so-called uh, uh, Peruvian, Panamanian in our congregation. So we don't teach color, sister. Sister, I agree, sister. I agree already. I agree already. Because you know why, sister? Because you believe in a white Christ. That's the reason why. You believe? I bet you have a white Christ in your wall. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. You can you cannot take it. You cannot take it. You too light skinned. You think Christ is look like you. That's the reason you can't take it, sister. That's the reason a lot of our sisters from Puerto Rico, from Guatemala, from Peru, from all these other Hispanic descent countries not gonna accept it. Because they think Christ was a white man, because they are so light skinned. I'm telling you, that's what you call dividing and conquering. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.